Well, we're still on with the Southern Pacific on the home railroad here in the basement. And we're back from the car collections and so on. Southern Pacific had a narrow gauge line that ran from near Carson City, Nevada, down to a place called Keeler, California, which is about 300 miles apart. There was nothing at Keeler to speak of, just a natural soda products company, which is no longer there now either. Up until 1960, Southern Pacific had a narrow gauge train, and they ran it on there. And I've got some pictures in a book here, so we'll show you pictures of the tourist cars that Southern Pacific built. Well, this one on the left here is one of the tourist cars with the his and hers outhouses on it. And you look at the picture a little bit closer. There's the men's room. And over here, of course, is the back side of the ladies' room. And so that's the that's the uh, tourist car number 251. The order came down from San Francisco. People were wanting to ride the SP narrow gauge because it was steam and it was narrow gauge and there was no passenger equipment so the order came down from Market Street in San Francisco f to take five flat cars and convert them to tourist cars and this is the other one, two, number 253 so anyhow there's, this is one, these are two of the five cars there was a bit of a misunderstanding by the car shop foreman at Oeno there were supposed to be five tourist cars but only one of them was supposed to have the his and hers outhouses on it and he misunderstood the order and so all five cars got the his and hers outhouses on it and so this became the inspiration for my Southern Pacific tourist train which we'll go tour here in just a second. Well this is my tourist train we're pulling it with a Baldwin S12 number 2150 and like the mine is a standard gauge train rather than a narrow gauge train and here's one of the one of the flat cars that mine's a three car train and I only had two outhouses so this one here is the first car of the train and then here's the second car of the train which has the outhouses on it which you can see here we got the ladies room right here and of course the men's room we're looking at the back side of it here and then the third car right here and that's followed by a SP caboose a C30-1 the tourist cars were made from Athern 40-foot flat cars. These were back when they were Athern produced kits rather than ready-to-roll, but ready-to-roll ready cars could probably be modified as well. There was the three cars that were basically Athern 40-foot flat car kits. The railings on the sides here, the gray railings that you see, those are from Plastruct, and they just happened to be the right length for the for the 40-foot cars. Didn't have to do any trimming or anything, just glue them down. And then the seats were made by Pacific HO. They're actually little pine seats. They're real wood. And uh, they came in a box of a bunch of them. And I wanted the look of weathered wood, so I ha I have a bottle I rinse my paintbrushes out with has lacquer thinner in it. Well, in the bottom of the bottle, all the pigment from the paints kind of collects. I shook that up and dumped it in a tuna fish can. And then I took the seats and I dumped them into the dirty lacquer thinner and let them sit for several hours. And they absorbed the dirty lacquer thinner and I don't know if I can pull this in really very good or not we'll give it a try we'll kind of look back here behind the back of the engine here the front end of that first car and look at that corner seat there you can see. this is how the weathered wood situation came out it came out very well and for just a kind of a shot in the dark and hope you hit something so anyway uh, that's how the seats came the passengers are from Merton and Pricer and Lifelike and various other manufacturers that make seated figures. I think Backman had some in here too. Anyhow, trying to not to use the same person more than once. There's 130 passengers between the three cars. And so I actually have 130 people. There's 130 seats if you on, on all the cars. If you had if you have every seat filled, there's 130 130 seats and I have 130 passengers on the train of course there's always up somebody up walking around like here on the first car right here you got this guy standing up waving his hat and here's the lady in that tan dress walking down the middle of the car she's walking she's standing around and here's another lady here waving and walking and then 
Of course, we got some women standing outside the ladies' washroom waiting to use it. And then back here to the last car, there are some more people standing up, seeing the sights from the from uh, from the train instead of sitting in the seats. They're up, actually up walking around. So anyhow, that's a little bit about the tourist train. And the inspiration for it was the pictures in that book I just showed you a minute before. So that's an, another another model that I did, kind of freelanced it off of the real thing. Well, while the tourists are riding by, we got the chain gang out here working alongside the road. The tourists get to see the sights, and the chain gang gets to do their job here with the guards keeping them in line. And here comes the tourists going by the chain, that's not chain gang, the track gang. Got all kinds of gangs out here. Everybody says gangs are a problem. We got a track gang here working on the tracks. 